Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 64, and today we're going to be talking about Treyarch and how they can save the Call of Duty franchise. But before we get into that, guys, I want to talk about the gameplay real quick. Now, this gameplay, I think, is like around three months old. We're just messing around. We're, we're not even taking things seriously. We're just killing some time. And also, another plus, guys, there's a YouTuber in this gameplay. Her name is Miss Agron Rivera. That's not her real name, though. That's something she supports. That's some show or some band. I'm not pretty sure. For sure, she's going to correct me in the comment section or something. Um, <laughs> anyways, she has a YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel name is Ghost Girl Cam. She does some adventure game, which is called from, uh, I think, Star Wars Republic something. Um, it's pretty funny. She's pretty crazy in that game. <laughs> and, you know, well, she's not crazy. She's just pretty cool in it. And uh, she pretty much travels around the, the, the universe and stuff. Uh, I watched some of them. It's pretty much good. I give it like a 8.9 out of 10. Also, she does some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So if you guys want to keep on seeing some Black Ops 2, go to her channel, subscribe to her channel, and tell her hi for me. Also, you can see her channel link in the description. So just click, just click my description and uh, go to her channel and subscribe because she's pretty cool. Anyways, moving on to the main topic, which is, uh, you know, Treyarch. How can they save the franchise, you know, Call of Duty? How can they save it? Well, pretty much it comes to the conclusion that they're pretty much creative now. It used to be that Infinity Ward were the creative ones, but apparently now this Black Ops 2 game, Black Ops 1, you know, they were pretty much creative maps. They had the most pretty much creative camos. The weapons were pretty much good. Um, another thing, the... What was another thing? They always keep on adding new stuff. They come up with the new stuff. Like the the dogs? They came up with the dogs. Who who would have thought about that? You know, Infinity War never put dogs in the game. Maybe in the story mode after, you know, Black Ops 1 or uh World of War, you know, they put dogs in the game. Uh what's another thing? You know, the kill streaks are pretty much creative. Um you know, all this stuff it's pretty much circles, you know, creativeness. That's the skill that Treyarch has. They come up with the new stuff. So, I think in 2015, guys, it's going to be one hell of a year for Call of Duty. Because, you know, it's from Treyarch. Treyarch's going to come up with a Call of Duty game in 2015. So, I can't wait for that game. I cannot wait for, I mean, I, I can't, and I don't, I don't think nobody should wait for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You know, I think everybody should just skip that freaking game. Because we all know what Sledgehammer Games did to Modern Warfare 3. And I don't care what the hell that kid has to say about, you know, oh, Sledgehammer Games only did the freaking story mode. I don't care. It's fucking under their name. So, I don't care. Um, so, Sledgehammer Games was to blame for what happened in Modern Warfare 3. You know, they pretty much had the most terrible connection of all time compared to Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, World at War, and Call of Duty 4. You know, Modern Warfare 3 could have been a disaster, but it had so much potential. That's one thing. That's another thing, guys. Uh, the maps are pretty good. The weapons are pretty good. Uh, it's just that the freaking lag. They should have fixed that a long time ago after day one or something. Like... It was so obvious. Every single big YouTuber was asking to fix the lag compensation. It was so bad, man. They even tried to do a blackout, but that wasn't a 420. What the fuck would they do in a 420? Everybody was not even going to play anyways. Um, anyways, you know, that's where Sledgehammer messed up so bad. That that's brings me thoughts. Like, it brings me something, you know, to my mind. Like, are they actually going to work on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare or are they just going to copy Call of Duty Ghost but with worse connection? Because we all know Modern Warfare 3 was the same thing as Modern Warfare 2. It was just a copy and paste, right? That's why, you know, Black Ops 2 decided to go futuristic because they didn't want to have to copy and paste. And, um, you know, that's another thing. They think outside the box. So, since I know Call of Duty Ghost and... You know, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare are going to be futuristic. Well, Call of Duty Ghost, Ghost, it's already futuristic. And Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, we already know it's futuristic. So that means something big, guys. The next game by Treyarch is going to be modern. It's going to be from the modern times. Like, right now, like, like freaking Iraqi War or something. I don't know what the hell they're going to come up with. But it's going to be modern. They always do the opposite of what Infinity War does and Sledgehammer Games does. That's the truth. <laughs> so I bet I'm the only YouTuber out there that thinks about this. Like, they're going to go modern. That's one thing that's going to save the franchise for one more year. Yeah, it's only going to save for one more year or either that or the players are going to stick to this game forever or something. Because, you know, what is going to 
what will Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer do, games do after that? Nothing. They're just going to copy each other off until Treyarch can come up with something new. So that's it, guys. Treyarch, I mean, not Treyarch, uh, Infinity War and Sledgehammer games are done. Just leave it to Treyarch, for God's sakes. You know, Treyarch is the only one coming up with the most creative stuff. They really are. I think they should really just have a, like a two year and a half or three year three year thing going on here because Treyarch is the only one coming up with new shit. The other two companies should be fired or something because they're not coming up with anything. So that's it, guys. That's the thing that's gonna save the franchise. You know, the Call of Duty franchise is creativeness. Creativeness by Call of Duty Black Ops. We can all remember the weapons. We can all remember the original maps in Black Ops One. You know, we can all remember all those things. And that's what made the freaking, you know, Treyarch, you know, superior to the other two. Anyways, Treyarch will save the company, guys. That's my opinion. What do you think, guys? Will Treyarch actually save the, the franchise? That's my question to you guys. So subscribe for more. There's going to be more stuff coming up, guys. I don't even know what the hell it's going to be. But, you know, there's going to be a lot more stuff here in my channel now. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more. You didn't even play 60, y'all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was there was a free sixty. <laughs> free <laughs> <Wait. laughs>